What's good, Hood Rich fam? Today we got the Hood Rich Credit Special Offer for the ones that's been asking for the Swipe Team hoodies. Now it will be included with the new Travel Hacking Off the Swipes ebook. Y'all go tap in for the website under the description. What's good, Hood Rich fam, man? It's your boy, Hood Rich Credit, back at it again with another fucking banger, man. You feel me? Look, Hood Rich fam, today I got a very special video for y'all today. A video that I wanted to break down today because I received a certain message from one of y'all on my Instagram DMs, right? And y'all were talking to me about some Amex swipes, okay? And the person that DM me, I don't want to put you on the spot, right? But he was basically telling me that he wanted a credit card stack with Amex, okay? And I told him that he could do that, right? Because what a lot of people don't know with Amex is you can get up to 14 cards with only one R pool, okay? That's a big major gem about Amex that other institutions don't do. This is why Amex is one of the top in the game, right? Nobody can't fuck with them like that. So with Amex, since you could get 14 cards with only one, one hard pull, the way it works is you obtaining that first credit card with Amex is going to be hard pull, but the rest are going to be soft pulls on your Experian credit report. So you just got to suffer that little one hard pull on your Experian, right? But then soft pulls and you straight, okay? But I told him, First, the first question that I told him was, does he has a game plan in mind, right, when he obtains some swipes? Because the downside is most of them swipes come with annual fees, man. You get what I'm saying? They come with annual fees and they rack up every year, okay? So you have to leverage that credit that you're going to obtain with Amex, okay? So what's the point of receiving all them cards with Amex if you're not going to leverage them? And my man didn't have a game plan in mind. You got to know what business you're trying to get into before you obtain them swipes, okay? Buy a course, study that course, write down notes, all that, bro. So by the time you already have the swipes, it's go time. You already liquidate the credit cards, turn them into cash, and then put it up into that business, right? For example, Airbnb, Turo, car flipping game, pressure washing business, landscaping business, whatever you guys have in mind. And some of y'all have experiences with those businesses, so jump into what you know. You get what I'm saying? So... Yeah, man, I told him the downside. I told him the downside. I was like, you got to have your business in mind because these annual fees on them cars start to rack up. And some of y'all just collect these. Like I said in my last video, y'all just want to collect these cars to show it off. Yeah, I got a, a lot of Amex cars. Amex ain't. No, bro, you got to utilize these cars. That's the whole point of this shit, right? Utilize it for whatever business you're trying to get into. So that was the downside that I told him, right? That kind of made him change his mind. But then what I told him, which a lot of people don't know about Amex, okay? Because Amex is a very good institution to get some funding, but they got certain rules, you know, shit like that, right? They have some, they, they got some backdoor rules that a lot of people don't know, okay? And one of them is that you may potentially run into if you're trying to maximize your funding with Amex, they might hit you with a financial review out of, out of the blue, out of nowhere. And if you can't provide, you know, the returns off that, then you might get your limits slashed or you might get black blacklisted with amex okay so y'all gotta be very careful if y'all trying to maximize y'all funding with amex 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 is a very good institution man but you gotta be very careful okay you gotta be very careful another thing that i want to tell y'all right is you can't really do manufacturer spending with amex that's a little gem that i want to include right so let's say the manufacturing spending method of you buying all these gift cards amex they're very slick i'm telling you they check your transactions and if they see you bought all these little gift cards to turn them into cash, they put on game. They already know that you're going to try to turn them into cash and that's how you get your limit slashed with Amex and that's how you get blacklisted. So you got to be very careful, okay? That's the main point that I want y'all to understand, right? So I told him the downsides of, you know, credit card stacking with Amex, he might get hit with a financial review that can possibly affect him with, um... You know, having that long-term relationship with Amex because you want to have this long-term relationship with every institution that you run into. You get what I'm saying? So you got to be careful with Amex, man. Don't make this mistake. This is what I really wanted to, you know, break down in this video because it's going to fuck you up, man. I don't want y'all to, you know, ruin y'all relationships with major institutions that y'all can maximize funding with, okay? All you can do is just just stick to, like, the little charge cards, man. The, the gold card, you know, the platinum. You get some revolving credit cards, right? The plus the the plus card is a good card, right? The blue business cash is a good card, man. There's multiple good cards, but if you try to overdo it, then you can't be in some trouble with Amex. But just get those cards, man. Get those cards, and you know you could do the the credit to cash play that I dropped a while back a while back ago. I dropped it like two months ago or some shit like that, where you enter these stores, right, and you buy all the purchases off the Amex swipe. 
And what you can do is you can turn your credit into cash by buying the items, bringing them back two days later, right? And then having them return to your debit card. The good thing is Amex is not gonna see that as a return because the return went into your debit card, right? Instead of putting your credit card as the return, you put your debit card, that cash goes into your bank account, and then you pay off the Amex card back, right? And if you do this a lot, Amex is gonna, since they're not seeing that as a return, right? They're seeing that as a spend. You're racking up your points with Amex, right? And another thing is, Amex doesn't see that as a return. When you pay it off, or what I tell y'all about these institutions, right? If you use the card, if you utilize your credit and pay it off on time, quit, they'll boost up your limits. This is how you boost up your overall spending limits with these charge cards with Amex. I mean, they're not really charge cards no more. You know, they got that pay over time feature now. But you get the point, right? This is how you maximize your funding with Amex instead of trying to apply for, you know, multiple swipes with Amex and possibly getting a financial review, okay? So I want y'all to be careful, her rich fam. This was a little quick video on Amex, right? Just so y'all can understand them better before y'all try to apply for some funding with them, man. Be cautious, man. Be careful. And yeah, her rich fam, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all have a good day to her rich way. Go.